Welcome to CalTV's first off script for spring 2018. My name is Tomas Maglonia, the news director for the department, and today we'll be discussing our first three stories of spring 2018. As a reminder to our audience following us throughout the semester's off script is behind the scenes stories from in the field. And today we're fortunate to have three of our reporters, um, Paulina, uh, Laylee, and Bobby. And we especially want to welcome Laylee as she is a new member who just started this spring 2018 a first year with the department. And we're gonna go ahead and kick it off with Bobby. Bobby, your story's gonna come out over the weekend and it's about e-cigarettes and um, their impact um, to those who use it. Do you mind giving us context about how you went about that story and what are some of the interesting things you find? Um, we're gonna go ahead and pass the mic over to you. Yeah, absolutely. And again, thank you, Tomas, for having me on this show. I found e-cigarettes to be particularly fascinating because on campus we have a no smoking policy we have a no vape policy no electronic cigarettes but you see a lot of students sm uh, using e-cigarettes on campus lately it's been a trend of using an e-cigarette called a jewel um, it's really small it looks like a USB it's a uh, gray or black and basically you can use multiple flavors um, you know personally speaking um, it's delicious, and that's what's frightening is because a lot of students in middle schools and high schools are using e-cigarettes. Does that mean they're more they're going to be addicted to um, you know other drugs? Will they start smoking nicotine a lot more often or tobacco? Um, so this this little thing that we were doing was basically seeing what students had to say. Do they smoke on campus? Do they do they use this socially? Are they addicted to nicotine, or is this a better alternative to smoking cigarettes? Um, so I thought it was just really fascinating. Thank you so much, and that story will be coming out in just a few days. Uh, but thank you for joining us and setting that up. Um, lately, we're going to go ahead and move on to you. You were one of the first reporters to do um, to use utilize our Facebook Live platform, and you covered the controversial arrest of one of the um, workers during a protest, and they stood at California Hall um, protesting that this person be released. Do you mind giving us context about that? We didn't do a news story, but you were there at the protest for a while. Explain how that experience was like. Yes, so I was able to be a live reporter for that protest, and what had happened was a couple days prior, the same workers' organization had held a protest, just protesting the unfair uh, discrimination practices that happen at UC Berkeley with their workers, and during that protest, one of their workers, David Cole, was unjustly arrested and was charged. So the protest that happened a couple days later was outside of California Hall, and the basic thing was that they were making sure that he was released and that those charges were dropped as well as just addressing the discriminatory practices that happen on our campus with policing so it was super interesting because it was a live stream and I was able to use Facebook live as a platform which was really cool to, for me um, and what happened was first I just was able to talk to the leaders of the protest um, ask them what was going to happen and then I started filming when the speakers went on and it was really cool because actually an African-American studies teacher uh, was there speaking. And something that was super interesting was she talked about how a lot of times during protests, not a lot of teachers come out and support um, protests. And that's what it was super valuable for her to be out there, which is something that I really liked. All right. Thank you so much for sharing that. And Polina, for you, the story that you worked on was actually really interesting. It carried on from last semester. You can, you brought us behind the scenes of Zellerbach. I mean, we walk by this building every time, but we don't really know what goes on, you know, even on stage or um, uh, at the back of the stage of students who, um, you know, maybe don't frequent it. Can you tell us a little bit about what you learned behind the scenes at that area? Yeah. So, um, like you said, it was kind of a layover from last semester and, I got in touch with Cal Performances with the executive director there and um, the PR department there and they set me up to talk with uh, just the executive director, marketing director, stage manager. And I think the most surprising thing to me and I think the other students here would find interesting is that they plan years in advance. They have programs set up for the 2021 uh, season already. So it's um, a lot of work that they put in and uh, you know, what we see is just on the stage, but it takes a lot of more work than that to get it out. All right. We want to thank um, all of you, Polina, Laylee, Robert, who had to uh, leave the set for a bit. 
uh, for joining us. And uh, Offscript is going to happen throughout this semester, and we hope for the next few semesters, every time we have stories published, the links will be posted on this post specifically below. So please be sure to check out the stories that we're discussing. Again, Offscript is behind-the-scenes stories from in the field. Thank you, Bobby, Laylee, and Polina. My name is Tomas Maglonia. Thanks for joining us, Offscript Spring 2018.